Hello, this is the iPhone SDK developer here, and today I'm going to show you how to add an icon to your tab bar. It's kind of easy. Um, you're going to need a software called GIMP. It's free to download from the internet. Just search in Google, download GIMP. Now, let's open. We can go to File, New, and we're going to change it to 200 by 200. Okay. Now we're going to add in a new layer and select Transparency. Okay. And you can delete the original background layer, and then you have the transparent layer. Now here you can do whatever you want. I'm just gonna add in a square. I'm gonna add in a square there. Fill that in black. And I'm gonna do another square. You can do whatever you want. I'm just going to do this. Fill that one. Black. And I'm going to add a circle at the bottom. We're just going to fill that in black. So now we're pretty much done. We go to image, scale image, and you're going to set it about to, um, I would say, 35 by 35 pixels. Scale, file, save as, and do this tab. Uh, And make sure to save it. Um, I'm going to save as a PN .png file. Uh, I think I've gone past it. Save. Save. Okay, now we can go quit that. Now. You can go to Xcode, File, New Project. Just gonna quit the other one. Tab our application, obviously, and it's gonna do this test bar. So you can get the image and drag the image into your. project folder so there it is test bar and you're actually going to drag into the project so it's going to be part of our project drag it in add we can just close this okay pretty much. so then you know, if you have 3.1 which I actually have but has a problem with it you can go to nib files main.xib but that isn't working for some reason. Um, so you can go to resources, main window XIB, zip, uh, whatever you call it. And then you're just going to drag it, it should be above the um, inspector. And then you're just going to drag it in. And you don't, you pretty much don't need those. You can double click on the fur in which any one you want, whichever one you want to do. So you're going to go to the type of attributes image and then select the image in the file and then I think it's still a bit too big but I will sort that out um, and let's change this to random so you're going to save and quit build and go on that and it should pretty much work it's kind of easy to set it up 
the it works. It it adds the blue thing and the shine and it's still a bit too big but I'm gonna figure it out and try and make it a bit smaller and yeah. Thanks. Subscribe, rate and comment. Bye.